Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 31st, February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Now, I am going to use, and you know, this is just the introduction. It's the same for everybody, and then I will put the timestamp down at the bottom so you can go to your individual um, readings, okay? So, uh, I am going to use my Radley Valentine decks for the main readings, and this will be my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and I will use my Guardian Angel cards also. I will then pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the introduction, we were going to be using a couple of decks here. I'm kind of feeling like a three deck type of thing. Not sure where we're going to go with any of this, but I will use my Rider Weight Tarot cards. I will use my Osha Zen Tarot cards, and I will use the Good Tarot, which is by Colette Baron reed Okay? Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So I've talked about it in the introduction, but let's just go through really, really quick. Uh, I, and when I mean the introduction on the last, on our last videos, but we have on the 1st of February, February, we have our new moon in Aquarius, 45 minutes after midnight. So that's really, you know, January 31st to the 1st. Um, that's Eastern Standard Time. We also start the Chinese New Year, which is the water tiger. Tiger's very fast. So things should start to be a little more fluid and a little bit faster going with this energy. And again, I do like what, you know, what I was reading about it. I'm not real big with um, or knowledgeable with the Chinese New Year, probably as much as we all know about it. It's a symbol of strength, exercising evils, and braveness. And then February 3rd, Mercury goes direct at 11.13 p.m. again, Eastern Standard Time. So, welcome to February. Now, now remember, we've got, you know, a lot, you know, that Pluto with Capricorn, that's going to be more the 20th of February. We have a lot of our two energy going on here. You know, February is the second month. So we have February 2nd, 2022. We have a lot of that two energy going on. So two, 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 zero, two, two. Twos have choices, twos have decisions, twos are also coming together. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, let's see where we're heading with all of this. Now, <clears throat> when Mercury goes direct, remember there will still be that two-week um, post-Mercury retrograde shadow, okay? So it has to get itself back to where it was. And actually, you know, when it's retrograde, the planets don't really go back backwards. It's more of an illusion, but it still does have a very big effect on everybody, okay? So, oh, so cards already popping. Two cards fell out from the Rider deck. Let's see what we've got going on. This is more of an overview on the universal level. First card is the Fool. Okay, so now we have a zero. Remember, anything that is reversed is a little stronger energy. The Fool, there's a lot of, um, okay, zero, God source energy, okay? And there's a lot of possibilities with the fool. The fool, anything is possible, but you have to have faith. You have to believe. You have to have hope. So the fool has this hope, you know, even if nothing makes sense. So we're going into February and all this energy just kind of saying, you know what? We're just going to have faith that things are going to work out and work out much better in the long run. Okay, let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> now we have that king of pentacles. King's underlying energy is air energy, sword energy, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, making, you know, making plans, hearing news. But Pentacles is the earth energy. It is our Capricorn. Lots of stuff going on with Capricorn. It's also our um, Taurus, a lot of things still with Taurus. And it's also our Virgo energy, money, job, career. Now, the King of Pentacles is... A very strong authority, authority over money, author a very strong professional energy too. You know, the King of uh, Pentacles could be that. You know, and again, I'm not a lawyer. I do not give legal, medical, any type of financial advice. But the King of Pentacles is a person that stands in a professional capacity. Okay, Can, and and but at the same time is also a um, subject matter expert also is someone that can create money from nothing, okay? So the king of pentacles actually does have the potential 
um, like, you know, has the wisdom and the potential to create a better financial situation. Okay? Okay. Let's go on. We're just going to cut the two, you know, have those two. So there's a lot of let's have faith. Let's have faith. Then there's some money situations going on. And, oh, and there's a card that all just fell down. And we're, you know, whenever they want to pop. So now we come to the creator. So this looks like this is going to be one of those, again, have faith. Um, basically, there, you know, the creator, higher power, source energy, it does not have a number on it. Remember, numbers do have a lot of meaning, but we have the, the fool is telling you have faith. The creator is saying also, hey, things are being handled. It may not necessarily make sense. Have faith, have faith, have hope. Okay, so connect with your higher power, connect with whoever that is. So there's a lot of spiritual energy here. Um, at the same time, this earth energy does bring it down. You know, I talk about the supernatural and the natural and that veil between it. So it, it's very much that the supernatural and the natural will be working together this, this, for this, at least for this week. Okay, now, so cards are jumping out. So now we have this eight of water. Eights, um, unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Water is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It is fluid. It's very emotional. The aid of water tells you that there are possibilities. But, and with the possibilities, with the possibilities, there are things you have to walk away from in order for those possibilities to come after you. So there's this, there is this letting go energy with the aid of water on this. There is the, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm turning my back on something, you know, and at the same time, I'm looking at all the possibilities that could be coming. Okay, so there are, so this does have a very hopeful ring to it. It does have a very, um, spiritual and interesting ring i do feel like we're going to need to pull one more card let's see what this is justice justice is coming so we have that 11 this is a major arcana card um you know just one one um you know one's new beginnings tens transition you can add the ones together it becomes a two but justice, justice is coming. It just doesn't necessarily um, always feel comfortable. The aid of water does not necessarily feel comfortable, but these are some choices. That's an emotional choice, but we do have that fool. We have the king of pentacles. We have the creator. We There's this thing where we're walking away from something, but we're going into something that much better. And then we have justice. Interesting energy with all of this. Now, Okay, so let's see where we're going to go with this one. Now, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. You help keep my channel moving. We're so close to 25,000 subscribers. I really, you know, I, I, I just thank you all. I will ask that you watch, you know, that you keep me in your prayers. You know, I do have a lot of um, interesting energies that try to keep me from doing what I need to do. But um, like I, I've said before, I must be doing something right. I got the devil so uptight, so keep me in your prayers with that. Uh, let's, again, this is just the introduction. So let's start the main readings now. And hello to my Cappies, my Capricorns. How are you doing, darlings? Okay, let's see what we've got going for you, okay? There's, you know, this February feels very positive, very loving, um, doesn't mean that it's always easy. It doesn't, but we've got all those twos, all those twos, change, directions, pathways, joining together, interesting stuff here. And we have all of those planets. Once the third, once Mercury goes direct, everything is direct. Nothing's re nothing is retrograde. So Let's see what we've got, and you're, there's still a lot of Capricorn energy going on. What do we have? Venus, we have Pluto. Who else do we? Oh, we, right now we do have Mercury. Mercury retrograde back into Capricorn for a small period of time. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Reversed, reversed. Here we are. The moon. Now we have that new moon energy, so really that's what is it, February 1st? Um, really get out there, my Capricorns, and put out your intentions. The new moon is a new season. It's a new, it's a new time period, okay? And remember, from the new moon to the full moon, as things are waxing and getting bigger, they basically, that's the time to be requesting. Now, from the full moon to the new moon, as it gets smaller, 
waning, that's the time to get rid of. So, but the new moon in itself is a time of starting new beginnings, new starts, making some major plans and putting it out there and expecting positive energy to come back. Now we have that 18, so the one new beginnings, again, 10 transition, eight unlimited opportunities, add it together becomes a nine says you've got everything you need the moon has hidden energies the moon doesn't tell us everything though the moon keeps things in the shadows so my capricorns if you if you are expecting to have things revealed to you they're only going to be revealed more through the supernatural energies than they will through the natural energy so connect higher power Connect with, you know, whoever your source is. Connect with your angels because that's how you're going to um, find out what is being hidden. It doesn't mean we're going to be told everything. That can be a little bit irritating, especially to my cappies. I want to know. I want to know. Well, the thing is, you know, there's so much going on around us and things can be, that things are hidden for a reason, okay? But the moon, Archangel Heniel, the opportunity to improve your plan. So this is a time for you to make things better. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So there is that thing. The facing your fears, I think, is going to be big. Um, whatever it is that has been holding you back, it's kind of like you're going to face it. It's kind of like looking at it like shadow mirror, shadow mirrors. Here we go. Next card is the Queen of Gabriel. So... Virgo got the Queen of Gabriel. So this has a very powerful coming out. This has a very powerful um, confidence level, okay? Queens have um, underlying energy as the water, is water. It's uh, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Fluid, Emotional. Gabriel is our fire energy. It is Aries, and it is Sagittarius, it is Leo, Passionate, Burning, Determined. The Queen of Gabriel is be confident, be bold. Go after what it is you want. You know, remember, the moon is saying that there is an opportunity to improve your plans. The queen of Gabriel is saying this is the time for you to improve your plans. This is the time for you to get out there and be the best Capricorn as, that you can. This is a time for you to also, you know, there, I feel like there's a spotlight on you in a positive way. It's not like, ooh, you know, like, ooh, I have a spotlight. No, I feel like my Capricorns, you're being spotlighted. You're being, you know, somebody is trying to say, this is a great job, Capricorn. And I think this is one of those times that you can really make an advancement in your career. Okay? So, the Queen of Gabriel is passionate, charming, brilliant, independence independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So your last card here, reversed the sun. So now you have a 1819. Nine, again, we talked about all those numbers. This is Archangel Uriel. Arch, um, the sun, Archangel Uriel brings, um, brings light to dark. Archangel Uriel also is very, very wise. So if you need some answers to some questions, Ask Archangel Uriel. So you have the moon and you have the sun. You have these two divine divine creations, you know, the you know, as the earth goes around and you know, all all of these. So you have the moon and the sun. So you don't have any stars here, but both of these are very strong. Now the sun is also Leo energy. Okay? And this is like up you know, life is good, life is wonderful, opportunity is happening. Things are happening this week for you, my Capricorns. Enjoy it. Embrace it. You may not know everything. You may not know everything, but embrace what it is you do know, okay? Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So, very, so 1819, 9181. Let's see what we have here now. And let's see what we have at the guardian angels. Embrace. Embrace this week. Embrace this. Like I said, I felt like there was a spotlight. Well, it's obviously the sun. The sun is shining for you. The, sh the sun is shining on you, my Capricorns. Embrace it. Well, me be a little hot, but bask in the sun. How's that? Bask in the sun. Let the sun light you up. Here we go. Let's see what we've got here. Six of action. So we have that six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Action is your fire energy also. So you got a lot of fire energy going on here. There's a lot of victory with this. Six of fire, there's a lot of victory. There's a lot of, like I said, you know, the spotlight is on you now. Shine. Shine big. 
What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts, the, you know, your, the spotlight. Well done. If someone, if someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Like I said, you're being, you're being spotlighted. You're being, you're shining. You're being noted. People are seeing you. People are noting you. Enjoy. Okay, so let's go on. Let's see what crystal or energy for my Capricorns we have here. Rhodochrosite. And that's funny because that, that came up for Leo. Okay. Service, contentment, healing emotional wounds, renewal of passion. Interesting, too. I love that. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, you're being spotlighted. You're being, you know, the... the it, you, you know, there's, you're being recognized. It's all good. It's all good, my Capricorns. Embrace. Embrace. Anyway, my Capricorns, take a moment now. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Cappies, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.